fabulous. You know, it's a real, uh, it's, I would say, a rude awakening in many ways because, uh, you know, we always like to ape people from uh, the West, you know, and uh, it's a very humbling feeling when you have uh, a master from our part of the world, you know, and an Eastern master when it comes to uh, his philosophy who became a giant going across to the West and conquering the Western world as early as the turn of the uh, you know, 19th century, the 18th century. It's, uh, it's a very humbling experience. It shows that there is a part to uh, self-realization and some of the techniques uh, you know, which you see in the movie and which are spoken about is uh, quite unbelievable. You know, people say you know, that you live in the modern day and age in a, in a you know, you experience a life of materialistic stuff, artificial stuff. You know, you really don't hit reality the way it should. But I'm sure when you when you watch this film, you know, nothing is impossible. If you can practice those techniques, you will realize the path to self-realization. You know, there's also a saying always said, live in the now. What is the now? It is reality. You know, when you get, keep getting a reality check, you will know how to live in the now and not think too far ahead, not think too far behind. But it's a fantastic movie. Um, well, I'm really going to catch it again in the cinema hall. On the 17th of June, I want to see it uh, with, a, you know, with, with everybody there of the public. I'm very grateful a film like this has been made. I think it's very important that this sort of energy we put out into the world that we are living in today, uh, a spiritually charged um, energy that belongs, comes from a great realized human being is something we all need more than ever today, you know, uh, because the world is just being, and especially in, through the medium of cinema, which is the great, um, you know, the biggest, the most powerful medium of entertainment and of reaching out to people. Uh, so it's just so, so lovely that uh, Ji pe ek film ban rahi hai, ban rahi hai, aur wo ab cinema halls mein aegi. And um, he has been a great a spiritual power for the West for all these years. It's a pity that we haven't followed him as powerfully and as passionately, but hopefully things will change. And we really need this sort of energy coming into our space today, our space of the world. Very, very necessary. We are so happy finally this movie has released. We are also learning so much about our Guru. And uh, it's always uplifting and inspiring to see him and to see all the work he has done. I think it was a very uh, moving experience and uh, for somebody like me who has always been surrounded by a lot of devotees, I'm not myself a devotee and a follower as yet, but uh, there was something that moved inside me when I saw the film because it makes me wonder, there has to be something really solid that years after he was born and years after his existence people are still talking about it, not just in a small village, a group of 100 people, it's countless people now spread across the globe and it's so um, overwhelming to see what that man could do uh, just based on his willpower, his faith, his belief, his constant inquisitiveness about uh, seeking peace and I've known of how many ever people who are the devotees, like really close friends of mine, uh, they start their day or pick up the phone and say Jai Guru and there have been times when I wondered why you can say hello yeah but now I do understand that there's no uh, blank reason why they just blindly follow uh, uh, you know the man himself but uh, there is a solid uh, learning that has gone into you know them becoming devotees and uh, I hope to read more about it it's been a very splendid incredible day for me